So they're set. And they're off. Racing seven furlongs for the Nicholson Gin Vintage Stakes and Witness Stand. He wasn't that keen on going in initially. Has broken out well. Also speed from Golden Mind in that yellow jacket. Close up the green sleeves and cap of Hartem. Followed then through by the yellow jacket, the blue cap of Spanish Phoenix. On the heels of the leader's son in those red and green silks. Then Thunder Blue, the violet jacket. Followed wider out by the dark blue of Mountain Bear. The back two, Iberian Maroon and Yellow. And red with those beige stars for Soldier's Gold. Now just in front of Iberian. And they're racing their way towards the final half a mile. Enter the home straight on the lower bend. And it's Witness Stand and Danny Tudhope who lead narrowly. Half a length over, Golden Mind in second. Poised on the heels of the leaders, Spanish Phoenix. Sun against the running rail in fourth place. And then Hartem in the white and green. Followed by Mountain Bear and Thunder Blue. Still towards the back there, Iberian and Soldier's Gold. Up the home run, they head inside the final two and a half furlongs. Gold sleeves and cap. Witness Stand joined by the pushed along Golden Mind. Right there with every chance, Spanish Phoenix. Hartem coming into it. Mountain Bear wider out. Then Thunder Blue. Sun is trying to poke through. Quite a few of the chances. They race towards the final furlong and a half. It's Hartem perhaps just in front now. Pursued to the outside by Mountain Bear. Iberian getting going, then Golden Mind inside the final furlong. It's Hartem from Mountain Bear. Golden Mind trying to come back for more. Then Iberian. Hartem leads them on the run towards the line and will go on to take the vintage. Hartem the winner. From in second, Iberian. Mountain Bear in third. Then Golden Mind and Sun. Time now to hear from Sean Levy because he was on board half ten for this victory in the Group 2 Vintage Stakes. Congratulations. I feel this horse deserved that, as we say. Yeah, I think you're dead right, Lydia. Definitely deserves that. He's, you know, for a big horse, he hasn't missed any dance this far. You know, and he's been unlucky to run into a couple of exceptional horses um, without kind of getting his head in front. Um, and I think he definitely deserved it. And was that just a random blip when he missed the break at Epsom? I think so. I think, um, look, Epsom is Epsom, you know. Um, it's a funny start up at the top of the hill over there, and he'd gone there with little experience, I would have thought. And I think it was just one of those things, that just a little blip on the day. Maybe a few things got him on the day, but, like, it was definitely out of character because he's very, very straightforward. And it's been better form since an excellent run in the Coventry, that really good second behind City of Troy in the superlative. There's quite a wide margin to make up, though, there, isn't there? Look, no doubt. Um, but he's definitely a horse you'd side with. You know, I think the handicapper has him. Bang, that he'll go up again for this run today. And, you know, off that mark and the scope he has, you know, alongside with the mentality he's got, there's no doubt, you know, with every month he can improve. In fact, you know, with a horse like him, with the winter under him, you know, there's no doubt he could be anything next year. Yeah, that's the thing that both you and Richard have said about him, his mentality. He's just, he's trying all the time, isn't he? He's finding a bit of improvement all the time. That's got to be a good thing to have. No, hugely, because, you know, for a big horse, it's not, it's not obviously it's not worrying him, so he's not taking any steps back. Um, so there's no doubt his mentality definitely helps him improve, you know, run to run and, and, and month to month. You know, with that mentality going into the winter, like I said, alongside with his scope and ability, He'd be thinking he'd no doubt improve over the winter. Um, you know, he's one of those like I, you'd you'd mistaken for, for for one of the older handicappers in the yard, you know, day to day. So look, at, like like I said, you you'd be no doubt looking forward to what's going to happen to him over the winter. Now you were on board the very impressive stable companion Rosalian, who won the Pat Eddie at Ascot on Saturday. Now once pushed, Richard Hannon admitted that basically Rosalian is the apple of his eye, and is could be one of the best horses he's ever trained. How do you see it? Look, we always liked him. Um, he's not flashy, but at the same time, you, you, when you sit on him, you know he's, he's definitely special. Um, I wasn't expecting to, to win as well as he did in Ascot, especially on his second run, running against horses that had won as well, you know? And the way he'd done it just, you know, it just kind of screamed class, really. And he's in the same boat, plenty of scope. He'd be one we'd be really thinking and looking forward to next year. Yeah, he looks very exciting indeed. More immediately, you've got Isaac Shelby, who's got some very good form to his own name in the Lennox. What do you think of his chances? Look, I think the Lennox is no doubt caught up. Um, I've always been in the in the thought that maybe seven would be right up his street, mm -hmm. especially on the back of his Greenham run. He's always had that. I know he doesn't look it, but he he's naturally has a lot of um, speed about him. And I think the drop back in, to seven will no doubt help. I'm not saying that he won't get the mile in the future, or he hasn't done in recent times. There have been very good races he's ran in, but at the same time, I do think today is set up for him, for, you know, to sue him.
I can see that because he's slightly over raced, isn't he, in the St James's Palace today? Yeah, he's inclined to, but I think it's because he naturally, you know, his natural speeds are gear higher than most. And over that trip, you kind of, at a disadvantage, you're trying to kind of, you know, keep that contained. And because it's, it's naturally, it's unnatural for him, you know, it just makes him kind of look that bit more awkward and that bit keener. But I think just coming back to the seven, you'd be able to, you know, let him get into his natural rhythm. Okay. As ever, thank you very much for your thoughts, Sean. Best of luck on Isaac Shelby. Well done here. Thank you. Thank See you. you later. Richard Hannon's got a really good bunch of two-year-olds, and Harten is just one of them. He's won the Group 2 Vintage Stakes. Your first success in the Vintage Stakes. Congratulations. So much has told me. That's disappointing, but I suppose... Yeah, very pleased. He's a lovely horse and he, and he deserved that after running so well in the Coventry and the Superlative. And he was very unlucky in the Woodcut. Yes, he fluffed the start that day. He did and he didn't get any luck on the inside and that was it. That was a hard day. I thought, oh, it's all going wrong. But days like today, you realise you get your luck back. And he, as you said, he ran really well in the Coventry behind an Aidan O'Brien trained horse and then he yeah. was blown away by City of Troy last time. What were you thinking coming here in that context? Well, I thought, you know, this was his his day and it could be his derby, but he will get better as the year goes on and he's a horse big enough for, for next year. He's not about being a two-year-old. He ran here first time and he's improved all year. Um, he's a Group 2 winner now, so obviously we'll have to look at Group 1s, but he's getting better. Something like the Dewhurst at the back end of the season? Something like the Dewhurst. I love the way you make it sound easy. <laughs> yeah, he's got to improve to take on the real big ones, but he is doing that with every run. How does he compare to Rosalian, the really impressive winner of the Pat Eddery on Saturday? I'm going to race him tomorrow morning and yeah. see if, I, you know, <laughs> this horse has won, his, has won a very good race today. And Rosalian, he might be the best we've had for years. But this fella is a quiet achiever and he gets better every day. That's kind of where I was going because the way that you receive Rosalian seems to be different to this guy who is very good and lots of people hack off their right arm for, but nonetheless. That's because I backed him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks, a, he looks a, a, very much out of the ordinary and he always has worked like that and he won like that. And this lad is your mate and tries hard every day and gets better. Okay. Well, he's when you were first vintage stakes, just the four more to match your dad. Is that all? Hopefully I've got... I'll do that in four years. <laughs> Easy. Well done. Thanks. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.